Oke, bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello, 7 grade students. Nice to meet you. Here, we have interesting learning media for you. So, without any further ado, let's start it. Okay, on this page, you will see many menus. We have Universitas Jember profile. Universitas Jember is our campus. Kompetensi inti dan kompetensi dasar. Group profile. And these are the topics in this learning media. Hubungan dua sudut and hubungan antar sudut. We also have some exercises that you can try later. And the last menu is instructions for use. We'd better open this menu first. Okay, on the instructions page, you will see six instructions that you can read by yourself. The point is you will know how to use this media and its menus. To return to the menu page, you can click this home button. Okay, second. Let's see our campus profile on Universitas Jember profile menu. On this page, you will see the photo of our campus, Universitas Jember. We also include our campus address, Kampus Tegal Boto, Jalan Kalimantan, Nomor 37, Kerajaan Timur, Sumbersari, Kecamatan Sumbersari, Kabupaten Jember, Jawa Timur. Enough, let's back to the menu page. Next, we'll see kompetensi inti dan kompetensi dasar. Here, we have three menus again. There are KI, KD, and indicator. First, we'll see menu KI. Okay, here are the kompetensi inti or core competencies. Core competencies is the level of ability to achieve the graduate competency standards or SKL standard competency lulusan that students must have at each class or program level which is the basis for the development of basic competencies. In this learning media, we use KI3 or KI3 about knowledge and KI4 about skill and you can read it by yourself enough we can click back next we move to the KD menu KD or kompetensi dasar or basic competencies is the competence of each subject for each class Derived from the core competency, and you can read it by yourself too. Let's back. And the last is the indicator. Indicator or achievement indicators is the things that students have to reach in this learning media. We use three achievement indicators. There are students are expected to be able to determine the supplementary angles with the instruction given in the form of a picture correctly, and students also expected to be able to solve the angles relationships problems with the instruction given in the form of picture correctly, and students expected to be able to show the angles relationship with the instruction given in the form correctly okay enough next let's see the group profile this is our team she is my friend Arvinda Rahmadina and me Lintang Aini Pawai Mulyono we also include our Instagram. Don't forget to follow. Okay, thank you. Okay, now we go to the first topic. The first topic is hubungan dua sudut, or in English is relation of two angles. Okay, we click 
goal. The end goal is formed because two rays meet at a point. Here is the first ray and here is the second ray. The first kind from relation of two angle is complementary. What is the complementary? If you want to know the answer, you should click this. Two angles are called complementary when they measure at 90 degree. Here is the example. You can click this to show the other example. Now we click back. The second relation of two angles is supplementary. Now we click this. The angles are called supplementary when they measure at up to 190 degree. Here is the example. Click next to show the other example. Now we click back. And we go to the home. The second topic is hubungan antar sudut. Hubungan antar sudut, or in English, we can say the relations between angles. Go. If two parallel lines are cut by a line or ray, maybe, then six angles relationships will be formed. The first relationship is corresponding angles. In Indonesian, corresponding angles is sudut sudut sahadab. This is the theorema. If two parallel lines are cut by a transverse tau, the corresponding angles are congruent. This is the example. We also have another example. So we have four examples for corresponding angles. Next, vertical angles. Vertical angles is sudut bertolak belakang. The theorema is the vertical angles are congruent. We also have four examples for this relationship. Third, the alternate interior angles. If two parallel lines are cut by a transverse tau, the alternate interior angles are congruent. So this is sudut sudut dalam berseberangan in here we only have two examples Back. next alternate exterior angles so before is interior now exterior if the parallel lines are cut by transversal uh, alternate is exterior angles are congruent Sudut sudut luar berseberangan. Back. Next, interior angles on the same side of transversal are supplementary. So this is sudut sudut dalam sepihak. So the sum of two angles are at up to 180 degree. So there are supplementary. The last is exterior angles on the same side of the transversal. Sudut sudut luar sepihak. There are also supplementary. And now click the home button to return to the menu page. Okay, now we go to the exercise. Click go. Here is the question number one. You can click this to go to the home. And you can click this to the next question. Here is the question you can read. And now we try to choose one of the answers. Oh, your answer is true. You are doing great. Now we go to the second question. Click number two. Here is the question number two. You can read the question. Now we choose one of the answers. Let's try to choose C. Oh, your answer is false. 
Don't worry, try again. To try again, we choose number two. You can click the lamp picture to know the correct answer. And then we click back. Let's try A. Yes, your answer is true. You are doing great. Next, we go to the question number three. You can read the question. Let's try to choose D. Yeah, this is the correct answer. Now, we next to the question number four. You can read the question. Now, click the lamp picture to show the correct answers. Now, we keep back. You can click this to go to the other question. And you can click this to go back to the home. Okay, that's all everyone. Hope you enjoy this learning media. And thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.